welcome to High Biz News. This is Kangsha Ganga Panam and you're watching National Business News. Amara Raja Batteries Limited, India's leading industrial and automotive battery major, reported a profit before tax of Rs 176.96 crores for Q1 FY23, which is a growth of 33% over the previous quarter. The earning per share EPS for the Q1 FY23 was 7.70. The company witnessed robust demand in the automotive sector from the aftermarket as well as four-wheeler and two-wheeler OEM segments. Industrial batteries volume have shown healthy growth, especially in the UPS and telecom segments. Mr. Jaydev Kala, chairman and managing director of the company, said, It is notable that even in the face of global uncertainties, we have managed not only to outperform financially but also to launch new marketing and distribution initiatives to further strengthen our brand. We also continue to pursue value accretive growth opportunities in the energy and mobility space. PMJ Jewelers, South India's most loved fine jewelry brand, launched its new showroom in Bhimavaram. This is PMJ's 26th store in the South India and 13th store in the AP as part of the brand's aggressive expansion plans. Sri Gandhi Srinivas, MLA Bhimavaram, inaugurated this new outlet along with Mr. Ram Reddy, business head of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh PMJ Jewels. The allied showroom was thrown by the loyal customers of PMJ who added extravagance and excitement during the launch. The store have been exclusively curated keeping in mind the assorted taste of the customers at Bhimavaram and will have a wide display of designs across diamonds, golds and precious stones. PMJ's finest and never seen before designs jewellery range of handcrafted creations along with region specific and wedding jewellery, lightweight creations which are apt for office party and regular daily wear are going to be a part of the collection at the store. TDP Lok Sabha MP Mr. Jaydev Gala termed the Energy Conservation Amendment Bill 2022 a victory for environmental sustainability. Mr. Gala, an energy industry veteran and a strong proponent of renewable sources of energy, highlighted that the bill will be help reduce fossil fuels, based energy consumption and carbon emission and said that more government support is required to make renewable viable for mobility and manufacturing industry. The bill, which was passed by the Lok Sabha on August 8, gives legislative backing to the five elements of Prime Minister Pancharmit. Number one, sourcing 50% of electricity from non fossil fuels. Number two, reducing carbon emission by 1 million tons. Number three, installation of 500 gigawatt of non fossil energy capacity. And number four, achieving zero net carbon emission by 2070. And number five, reducing emissions. Fortis Hospitals Vadapalani, one of India's largest integrated and trusted multi-speciality chain of hospitals, organizing a special free cardiology camp for the residents in and around Nolambur. The camp will be held at Indurex Pharmacy and more than 150 people are expected to benefit from the camp. Expert doctors from Fortis Hospitals Vadapalani, Chennai will be available at the camp to consult for any alignment of the people coming for the camp. Various tests will also be performed following which our attendees will be given health tips for a healthy life. During the health camp, the following screens will be conducted. ECG, blood pressure, BMI, blood sugar are there. The week-long program to observe the World Organ Donation Day got underway at Keen's Health with honouring the families and relatives of decreased organ donors. Minister for Local Self-Governments and Excise Sri M. V. Govindan inaugurated the program titled Randa Mozam. Kim's Health will also conducted various awareness programs as part of World's Organ Donation Day. Noting that the state of government is looking seriously into organ donation awareness campaigns, Sri Govindan said the right to focus is needed in creating awareness about it among the public with the help of youth and voluntary organizations. These are the efforts to trigger malicious campaigns against organ donations. But we must convince the people that organ donation is humanitarian message that elevates their social life, the minister added. Kerala Startup Mission Kusum has invited applications for the fintech startup with a ready to use product, services, or solution to showcase in the virtual exhibition to be held as part of the 8th edition of the Big Demo Day series, scheduled on October 19th. 
The expo will set a platform for industries and investors to leverage products and services from the startup ecosystem. Products and solutions developed by the fintech startup for industry-specific problems will be displayed at the online expo. The participating startups will also get an opportunity to pitch businesses' proposals to an array of corporates, investors, partners, MSMEs and key stakeholders. The Big Demo Day will set the stage for introducing innovations fintech startups and exploring business opportunities. Thank you for watching. Signing off. Keep watching Hybis News.